Adjoint matrix is a combination of taking the cofactors and transposing the resulting matrix. Learn more on how to take the aggregate of a matrix in this video. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Let's start off with the procedure and designation of adjoint matrix, which is also called adjugate matrix. As said earlier, adjoint can be solved by taking the cofactor of the matrix and transposing the cofactors. Adjoint is denoted by ADJ of the matrix. Let's work on this example. Find the adjoint of matrix B with the following elements. First, Look for Bij or the cofactor matrix of B, that is, by eliminating the rows and columns of the pivot element and taking the remaining determinant. So the cofactor of B11 will be taken as positive of negative 1, 1, 3, and 1, and multiplying them will give negative 4. For the cofactor of B12 will be the negative of the elements 0, 1, 2, and 1. And by simplifying the determinant, we get 0 times 1 minus 2 times 1, which would give negative 2. Don't forget the negative sign before the determinant. Thus, the cofactor is positive 2. Next, take the cofactor of B13, which would show 0, negative 1, 2 and 3, which would yield 0 plus 2 or simply positive 2. Continue with the cofactor of B21, which would again be the negative of the remaining determinant, with the elements 2, 1, 3, and 1, and simplifying, we get positive 1. For the cofactor of B22, Use the positive this time with the elements 1, 1, 2, and 1, giving the value of negative 1. The cofactor of B23 will be using the negative sign of the determinant, 1, 2, 2, and 3. So by getting the determinant, the value will be positive 1. For the cofactors of the last row, starting with B31, use the positive of the determinant, 2, 1, negative 1, and 1, and that would yield positive 3. Take the negative to solve cofactor of B3, 2, and the remaining determinant will give negative 1. For the last element, B3, 3, take the negative of the determinant, which would yield positive 1. So, we can summarize Big, or the cofactor of matrix B, as negative 4, 2, 2 for the first row, 1, negative 1, and 1 for the second, and 3, negative 1, and 1 for the third. After having the cofactor of matrix B, we then can take its transpose or simply convert the rows into columns. Thus, adjoint B or adjugate B would be taken as negative 4, 1, and 3 for the first, 2, negative 1, and negative 1 for the second row, and 2, 1, and 1 for the third row. <music> 